So, Mimi Sounds, how is life? Uh, it's pretty good, not all good, some bad, and some good, so pretty good. <laughs> Mimi Sounds, you 21? Yeah, it feels kind of weird to be 21. Yeah, what was it said to me yesterday? You said like, uh, I'm starting to notice that I'm old now, about <laughs> something like that. Did I? <laughs> Oh, oh, I was excited about a steamer and I was like, you know you're old when you start getting excited about steamers. <laughs> so Mimi, you literally have to tell us about your crazy Texas trip that you just went on. Oh yeah, well, it was pretty amazing. Honestly, one of the best times of my life. Like, just being somewhere like Texas for a whole month and like, I got to play gigs all the time with Texas Flood and just experience a different lifestyle. It was really a big learning experience for me and um, I love all the people that I met there and I still talk to a lot of them so they're really awesome. And like friends for life isn't it? Yeah. What, what and, was, sorry. So I was going to say some of those gigs um, you did, I saw some clips on Instagram like they were massive places weren't they? Yeah like some of the places we played were like halls and like um, just the music was really cool and I love to watch Texas Blood play and then I love to get on stage with them so Every day was just like a, we would do something fun during the day and then go out at night and just play. And it was just an awesome time in my life. And um, yeah, I send love to Texas. So Mimi, what is your favorite food to eat right now? Um, currently, I love poke bowls. I have one every day. And um, I have ahi tuna, mango, cucumber, and rice. And that's my favorite poke bowl. I first tried it when I was in Texas and I never used to eat like fish before so it's a new and cool thing for me. So Mimi, what's it like living in London? Um, I love living in London. It's one of the best cities in the world in my opinion. It has beautiful architecture and culture and people, all different kinds of people everywhere. and. Um, it has everything that I love for my lifestyle, like the transport is awesome, like the tube, the ice rinks, the uh, guitar shops, it just has everything and um, I love it here. I mean, what's it like to be the biggest badass YouTuber on the planet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what's, what's, your, what's your YouTube journey been like? Um, it's been, I think the word would be like unexpected, like when I first uploaded my videos I just kind of just like threw them out there because I was like why not? But then they did like really well so I was like just keep it going and I'm really enjoying it and it's always been like a really fun journey for me obviously there's been like some less good times throughout my journey but overall it's been one of the best things that ever happened to me and I'm, I'm really grateful for everyone that watches my videos and does all the things like like and comment and everything and um, there's a lot of people that I haven't met in real life but like as soon as I see that comment, like I recognize them and I'm like, oh, that's this guy and that's this girl. And I'm like, Whoa. Okay, so as we've seen recently, you've also got another love as well as guitar, which is skating and we've seen some pretty crazy stuff like the catch spiral. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit more about that? That's the picture that I posted. Um, I just wanted to get my catch spiral. So when I first started, I would like, I'll put a picture in, but I lift up my leg off the ice and I could get it. I'm not going to do it because I got that leg right there. <laughs> I got my skirt on so I'm not going to do it but lift it up off the ice like over my head and then when I try it on the ice I couldn't get it any higher than like here because it makes your body tip forward and ice skates have this thing at the front called a toe pick and if you lean too much on that you just stop gliding and you just like shoot, fall straight onto the floor so it was kind of tricky for me to like get my leg up high and not tip over the forwards but kind of what I do now is like lean forwards but keep my foot like towards the heel and the center like of the skate on the blade and um but yeah i really enjoy skating so i know a lot of people probably want to know how is the custom guitar build going it's going really well actually um We've got all the hardware and the neck and we're just waiting on the body from NJT but they did send us a picture and like you can see the wood grain like they've carved it all and everything um, and the wood grain looks amazing like I'm really happy with how that's gone. So am I right in thinking that you've recently collaborated with Marshall like the big, one of the biggest brands in the world are you, are you able to talk about that or? Um, I don't think I can like go into the specific right now but it was really fun 
and they like gave me a whole tour of like the factory and the recording studio and everything. Um, it was way closer to me and way much like a bigger and just crazy place than I even I didn't even know it existed to be honest. Like they literally, they literally like hand make all the amps there like from scratch and um, I got to see like all of that and um, but then they also have like their museum part which is like you can see all of like the Marshall amps through the past and they have like Jeff Beck's gear there and like um, Gary Moore and all different kinds of people and bands so that was really cool. Well thank you so much Creasy Chris for um, coming around with me on my birthday and uh, filming some stuff and uh, check out the Pedal Porn YouTube channel we've done some collaborations before so quite cool and thank you guys for the birthday messages that I've received and um, yeah we're gonna get some birthday cake <laughs> um, my favorite cake is chocolate so it's gonna be a chocolate birthday cake and yeah I'll see you guys soon